I couldn't have asked for a better gift right in time for Christmas. Wow, guys, a huge step forward for us waiting for the jailbreak. So today, two major exploits were released for iOS 10, and this is almost everything for a jailbreak. I mean, it's literally laid out on a platter for us. Now someone needs to assemble it. So there's a lot of noise going around right now. I wanted to clarify what's going on. What does this jailbreak news mean and how to prepare for a jailbreak? Because it's very, very likely that we will be seeing one very soon. So very first thing you guys need to know is Project Zero. This team dedicated to finding bugs. Project Zero has just released two major exploits, a kernel exploit and a root access exploit for iOS 10. So they did release this whole write-up where basically it's telling you step-by-step step how to code this exploit and get it running on your device. So I know everybody's gonna be wondering, does this mean I can jailbreak? At this point in time, this is not a jailbreak. This is like a disassembled Lego block, like a diamond you find somewhere that's just encased in a whole bunch of junk. It's not perfect, but inside essentially what it is, is the jailbreak. It's a diamond in the rough, essentially waiting to get assembled. So that's all great, but who is up to the task? So far, Luca Tedesco has basically went out and said that he will, uh, by his words, I will take up whatever Project Zero drops and write a full jailbreak on top of it. Stay on iOS 10.1.1, especially on iPhone 7. So he says he will write a jailbreak, not that he will release one, but at the same time, he encourages us to stay on a certain firmware. So that is a little bit of hope there that he will release this if he does assemble it. There's really no reason for him not to release it because this is a public exploit, a public jailbreak. He does have a history of building a jailbreak and keeping it to himself, which is a little unfair, but then again, it's his exploit, his deal, whatever he wants to do with it. This is a publicly known exploit basically that gives you root access into the phone the two biggest pieces and a kernel exploit for a jailbreak it just needs to be rewritten and released in a tool so this doesn't guarantee a jailbreak will be coming from Luca Tedesco but Taiji Pangu even the PP jailbreak team could pick up on this and add it to their own tools really whoever releases it first so that in itself is incredible we will we might be seeing a jailbreak here very, very soon. Now, we don't know how long it could take, but it certainly is not easy. If you guys do visit the link, I'll leave it down below. It gives a step-by-step -step guide. And basically what they're saying is that it only works or it's been tested on two devices, the iPad mini 2 and iPod touch sixth generation. So that's far cry from all other devices. But there has been a Reddit thread where a bunch of people are submitting uh, that their devices do work with this code. And so far, the iPhone 6 is compatible, the 5S, and overall, it's looking like every device could so far be running this, especially the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And I wanted to point out a response he had to a question. Basically, someone asked him, it's a non-persistent exploit. Do you think you can still use it to produce a jailbreak and Luca Tedesco went ahead and replied, no need for persistence, these bugs are pretty amazing. So that's some high praise for the exploit found by the Project Zero team. Hopefully, really hopefully you can use this to make a fully working jailbreak and in good time too. I mean, I don't wanna wait a really long time for it, but what choice do I have? And I wanted to show you this picture. Basically, someone did try this out on an iPhone 6 and they were able to get root access using it. So basically, this is an unassembled jailbreak that just needs assembly. And it's very good to know that it does work on other devices. So the most important thing I want you guys to take away from this video is where you need to be to make this jailbreak work. And a lot of people aren't there right now. So I want to ensure you guys are there and you're not left out when the jailbreak is released. That would be a very, very big shame. So jump into settings, go into general, and let's go into about. And the version number here should be 10.1.1. That is the magic number. Luca Tedesco himself did say that you wanna be on iOS 10.1.1, especially if you're on a newer device, the 7 or 7 Plus. So that is very, very urgent. The good news is you can still get there. iOS 10.2 is the current firmware, the newest one right now, but you can still downgrade to 10.1.1 if you guys are on iOS 10.2. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Now, what if you guys are on an older firmware, 10.0.3, 10.1, 10.0.2, or below even 10.0? I would highly recommend you guys get to iOS 10.1.1, as that is the newest compatible version with the jailbreak. It's always a good idea to be on the newest version. You'll avoid bugs, you'll be on the most stable release, and have a jailbreak. So why not update 
to 10.1.1. And the process between downgrading or updating to this firmware is pretty much the same. That's the best part. It's very, very simple to get there. Now, hold on. If you guys do have good memory and you remember iOS 10.1.1 came in two build numbers, 14B100 and 14B150, which came out to release a little issue people were having with restores. So which build number should you be on? The good news is it doesn't matter. Of course, I would recommend the newest one, 14B150, but Luca Tedesco did respond to someone and basically said, uh, they asked which iOS 10.1.1. There appears to be two different versions, if it matters. And he said, it doesn't, kernel is the same. So the kernel version is the same on both builds of 10.1.1. So basically it doesn't matter. Just get to 10.1.1, either build the number. Okay, so let's get into it. It doesn't matter if you guys are running 10.0.1, like a firmware underneath iOS 10.1.1, I, I would still recommend you guys update. Now this jailbreak will very much likely work on lower versions of iOS 10, but still, why not be on the latest firmware? That's just logic right there. Now iOS 10.2 though is gonna require a downgrade, but both processes are exactly the same. So if you guys want to preserve your data for the most part, some things may not be incompatible like some apps, from a backup so you might need to reinstall those music might not be kept but overall everything should be either way back up your stuff just go into itunes and make sure to download the ios 10.1.1 firmware first which i'll leave a link for down below hold option on a mac or shift on a windows and left click the update button go ahead and select that 10.1.1 firmware and just like that it will go ahead and begin downloading and i actually selected an iphone 7 one not a 7 plus so that's why i got that error but it's a very simple process it'll take like 10 15 minutes and after you guys will be on this firmware and this is where you want to sit so there are a few other questions i want to address some people are jailbroken right now on ios 9.3.3 and if you guys are there i totally understand your guys's hesitation because we don't know if this jailbreak will materialize at all if it's just gonna be taking forever, like half a year, we don't know. So you're really playing a gamble here. Either stay on an older iOS 9 firmware with the jailbreak or update, take a chance, who knows, maybe it'll work out and jailbreak on the latest version. But either way, we're stuck in like a two week period here until Apple stops signing 10.1.1 as this downgrade or update to this firmware will not be possible forever, only for like a week or two weeks from now. Who knows, no one can really say, uh, but it's such a difficult decision. If I were you guys, I would stay on iOS 9. You have a guaranteed firmware, you have a guaranteed jailbreak, who knows if this one will ever come out, so just stay here, but it's really your choice if you wanna take the gamble or not. I, I don't wanna steer you guys in that direction. And I know some people will be asking, so I wanted to address, will this jailbreak work with 32-bit devices? That includes the iPhone 5 and some lower-end iPad models. So on this actual release page for this exploit. I wanna go ahead and search for 32 because this team basically did say a couple things about the 32-bit jailbreak. Essentially what they're saying is for 32-bit devices, all the offsets will be totally different and the code which manipulates the kernel, data structures will also be completely wrong. There's no reason it wouldn't work, but you'll have to fix the code to make it work. Unfortunately, Luca Tedesco has previously stated he's not interested in working on 32-bit devices because it's like such a small amount of people actually using those devices. Now it's not worth releasing a jailbreak for. So this will only be for 64-bit devices when it releases. That includes a 7, 7 Plus, 6S, iPhone 6, and 5S. That's the lowest end model. SE, of course, will work. So guys, the exploits to make the iOS 10 jailbreak possible have been released. That is almost everything. Now for someone to assemble it into a working jailbreak. Let's hope Luca Tedesco is the one to do it. But then again, remember, there are other jailbreak teams that could release this and do it even faster. Who knows? But I'm putting my hope on Luca Tedesco. Please, man, you got to do this for us. We need one good jailbreak in iOS at least. I mean, it's getting harder and harder every year. Apple is killing every bug. So for something like this to happen is almost a miracle at this point. A lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless nights from the developers and i appreciate every moment of it so uh yeah i'll be waiting patiently guys the only thing you guys need to know is to be on ios 10.1.1 doesn't matter which build number which version of it just 10.1.1 now do it now 
Who knows when Apple will stop signing that firmware. So if you're not there, get on it. Can't tell you how excited I am to actually jailbreak my Jet Black 7 Plus and have this swag on my phone. <laughs> Just essentially be different than everyone else to customize it in the way I love it truly. I just, oh, I'm so excited for that. Stay tuned guys, all the updates, I'll be covering it on this channel. And of course, when it releases, if I'll be showing you guys all the tweaks and cool stuff like that. So excited, stay tuned guys. Peace.